Hello everybody and welcome to Pro Engineer Made Simple. This time I'm going to talk about how to make a revolve. Now as the name implies, we're going to be using something with a circle. Uh, we're going to be revolving a sketch around a vertical axis to make it an intricate shape. Now you can do revolves a few different ways with internal or external sketches, but I find that making them with internal sketches is much easier you don't have a lot of uh, issues linking the revolve to a sketch. With an extrude it's a fairly straightforward process but with revolves it's a little bit more tricky because we have uh, added features in the sketch. So I'm just going to go ahead and do an internal sketch here and I'll click the revolve tool which is right below the extrude button here and select my axis. I'm going to just select the front axis here and hit sketch. So the first thing I want to do is assign an axis that we're going to rotate about. And you can see I'm sort of putting my mouse over the datum plane axes that we have here that help us define different things. But what I'm going to do now is insert a new axis that can be uh, used to revolve. So I'm going to go up to the straight line tool here and click on the little arrow next to it. And I'm going to select the tool right here. Now in Pro Engineer 3 and 4 there is only one and it would be a uh, just it would be the dashed line looking similar to that. So now you see I have uh, these two red parallel lines here that makes it say that the axis is currently parallel with my vertical coordinate axis here. So I'm going to select that. Now one thing that you need to make sure of when you're making a uh, revolve is that you have a complete loop and only on one side of the uh, axis here. So for example if I wanted to make a circle just like that and make a donut by revolving this around the axis I could do this. So if I zoom out right now there you see I have a donut. Very very simple. So I'm going to go back and edit the definition of this sketch. And let's say we wanted to make a sphere. Well, if you're just starting out, you might think that you could just do something like that and say accept. But that gives us an error. And the reason why... Oops, where did we go? All right, here we go. Is because we had something on both sides of the axis here. Okay didn't like when I tried to fix that so I'll just start over again. So placement defined front sketch. So what you need to do is to have a complete loop on one side and what I mean by a complete loop is oops, not quite vertical there. There we go, that's vertical. So what I mean by a complete loop is with this circle there is a start point and an end point somewhere along here and it's completely enclosed. What we don't want to have is something like this where there's a start point and an end point but there's nothing enclosing them. What I could do to fix that is to simply make a straight line between the two and accept this and there I get sort of an interesting shape. Sort of half a donut. Now what we need to do in order to make some really interesting shapes is do something a little bit along the, uh, along the axis here. So when we're making things along the axis, one thing that's very, very important to make sure you do is only have one line segment from start to finish along the axis. So what I mean by that is right now I have a start point up here and an end point down here of this line where if I deleted that and had another line segment here because say I decided I'd add something down below and then I make a couple of interesting curves well that won't work because we have some crossover so I'm going to undo that make something a little bit less exotic so let's try this it says it doesn't work. So why did that not work? 
Well, if we looked at what uh, we had in our original sketch along the axis here, we had two separate parts. Well, now I'm going to do pretty much the same thing, but with only one segment along the axis. And now this worked. The reason why is because there's, if you have multiple segments along here, Pro Engineer can't read that. So here we go, we have sort of an interesting pottery looking shape. And so with a revolve you can make a lot of interesting parts, make some unusual features. You can also make cones or something like that, something sort of interesting. Now one thing that you can do with a revolve, if we go back to edit definition here, is you can define how far around you want this to go. This is what I found kind of cool about revolves, is you can define the angle from start to finish that this is going to revolve through. So this is around 120 degrees there. And so I could have a, a very, very interesting shape and then build it and extrude off of a face here. Etc. So you, you get the idea there. Uh, let's see. You can also make some cuts with revolve. So if you had a interesting uh, shape that you wanted to cut out, you could do that with a revolve. So let's make a block here. A very very simple block. And I'll just take the rectangle tool and voila, there's our box. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a revolve and I'm going to use the top datum plane here. I'm going to make a sketch there. And just for simplicity I'm going to use this axis right here that my mouse is on for the revolve. So I'm going to come down here and there we go. Now another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the use tool right here this use tool is very very useful and what it does is it allows me to select an edge of a previously made shape. So in this case I'm just going to select the top piece right here, the top edge, and hit close. And What that allows me to do now is only take out material from this edge down to wherever I'm making my points. But now we have to make sure that we delete the sketch over here and over here, otherwise it won't work. So now we have one single line running down the middle and we have an edge over here connecting to there. And we've defined our axis so this should work. Now we can go up here and select the Remove Material button and accept this. And if we go into Wireframe, we can there we go, internal wireframe, we can see the actual shape of what we just extruded out of the middle. And if you look inside, you can sort of see the interesting looking shape in there. So there's one last thing that we can do with a revolve, and it's very similar to the donut that I made earlier at the very beginning. Now I've been talking a lot about having one single line on the inside edge. But what we're going to do now is not have that line on the middle here. What we're going to do is we're going to move it out. And we'll make some crazy looking line out of here. There we go. And we'll accept that. And so here is my wonderfully curvular revolve. Make some, you can make some really, really cool shapes with revolves. And you'll notice in the center here, I have a complete circle right in the middle. If we go back to the sketch, accept this, go back to the sketch. It's because we have only, we have a tw 281 diameter hole in the middle here because this line is offset from the rotating axis. 
Now let's see if we can make this with multiple lines. So what I did just there is I deleted the bottom half of the line here and replaced it. So now we have two line segments making up this vertical line right there. And we'll see that that works. The reason why it works here and not elsewhere is because it's not on the center axis. So now that we have our revolve in here, and say we wanted to make another revolve very, very similar to it, but a little, maybe a little bit outside of it, what we could do is simply go into our sketch and make another object out here. And there you can see we have everything that we'll need. A pretty interesting looking design. Now you can do that or let's go back in make a, another revolve but we want it around the same section but what we can do is, is you see this axis right in here it's going through the coordinate system at the very center and it's called A1 so we can use that axis in our revolve Now from this angle you can't really see it, but you can sort of see it right in there. And what we can do is simply remake it. And we will have our donut way out here. So there you go. I hope this has been interesting and informative to you. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And I look forward to seeing uh, what you can make out of this.